Do you regret the book? Greatest regret of my life, without question. Uh, I wish the book weren't even in print. Um, and, you know, I've spent two and a half years now after not speaking about the book for 30 years, once Trump began to run, I, I've spent two and a half years out there trying to warn people about who this man is. And yeah, it's, uh, it's something I can't ever really fully make right. Is that your obligation, though? I mean, you were a ghostwriter. You got covered. You got you got credit on the book cover jacket. You did all the things you're supposed to do as a writer. You took a contract. You got paid. In the sense, you did everything correctly. What's the core of this regret? That I knew this was a bad guy when I did the book. I had just some few months earlier written a piece about him as a staff writer at New York Magazine, which is where I was, uh, called The Cold War on 100 and Central Park South about his attempts to push rent control and rent stabilized tenants out of a building in a very luxurious location so he could transform it into a luxury condo and make a lot of money. Um, and in reporting that piece, it was very clear to me that this was a guy who lacked ethics and uh, was willing to push the envelope very, very intensely when it came to the law. And I should have, in retrospect, I should have made that enough of a reason to have said no when I got the opportunity to do the book.